In this video, we'll add our syllabus in the easiest way possible to Sakai by adding it as an attachment. For example, in this Sakai course, in the syllabus, students can see a title bar, instructions, and a number of links to important documents, such as their syllabus file and schedule. To add our syllabus, in our Sakai course, we'll click on the syllabus link on the course menu. Now we'll click on Add Item. We'll enter a title. In the large content box, we'll add instructions for our students. We're almost done. Scroll down a bit and click on Add and Publish to make your title and instructions available to your students. You'll now see a blue toolbar which displays icons, your title, and start and end dates. On the blue toolbar, if the light bulb is yellow, your syllabus content will display to your students, including your attachments. Otherwise, click on the light bulb to publish your content. But what are these dates? We recommend that you do not add start or end dates. Why? Usually, most instructors want to provide their syllabus throughout their course. If you add a start or an end date, you'll hide your syllabus and your attachments from your students. When your students have questions about your course policies or due dates, you may end up not having a syllabus for your students to refer to. In summary, there are very good reasons not to use the start or end dates. Now let's perform our last step and add our attachments. We'll click on Add Attachments. We'll click on Browse. And we'll select our file, click Open. We'll see the link display to our file. We can upload as many files as we want. And when we're done, we'll click Continue. But how can you check your syllabus on how it will display other than printing it? To preview your syllabus, let's use View Site as Student. We'll click on View Site As, then Student. Now we'll see the title bar, our instructions, and links to our files we've uploaded. Don't forget, when done, at the top of the course menu, make sure you click on Exit Student View, or you won't be able to see your instructor icons or buttons. What if you need to update the syllabus title or the content? Click anywhere on the text in the title, make your changes, and click on the checkbox to save your changes. Do the same thing. Click anywhere in the text for your instructions, make your changes, and click on the checkbox to save it. In this syllabus, the instructor has just one item up here at the top, one title. What if you want to add more items? In this syllabus, the instructor has added two items, not just one, like we did. Their students will need to click on each drop-down link to be able to view the syllabus content, or go to the top and click on Expand All. If you add more than one item, you will need to explain these extra steps to your students. Here's something to keep in mind when updating your syllabus attachments. After attaching a syllabus, you may find later that you need to make a change or a correction. You will need to make your changes to your original document using your word processor. Then in Sakai, you can delete the old syllabus attachment and post the corrected one, just like we did. But how do you delete your old attachment and add your updated document to your syllabus? You can click on the red X to the right of the attachment to delete it. Do not click on the red X to the left of the title or you will delete your title, your description, or instructions, and all of your attachments. So when you are deleting one of your attachments, go to the right of the file link and click on the red X. You'll have to click on delete and now you'll be able to follow the steps you did earlier by clicking on Add Attachments. You'll be able to browse, select your updated 
syllabus, click open, click on continue, and your updated syllabus will be displayed. Good luck with your syllabus.